Mikey McNuggets, it's time for I Know, I Think, I Doubt. How does this game go? One of our favorite games, I give you guys a statement. You tell me whether you know it's true, you think it's true, or you doubt it's going to happen. Each of you guys gets a question, a minute to answer, and let's start with Bull. So, Bull. Yes. Joe Flacco gives the Browns the best chance to beat Jacksonville on Sunday. Do you know, do you think, or do you doubt? I was uh, second-guessing myself today, but in the end, I went with, I think, Joe Flacco gives the Browns the best chance to beat the Jaguars on Sunday. I was going to push towards I know, but uh, there's a little part of me. I know nobody wants to hear this because Flacco played pretty well last week. There's a little part of me that thinks if they just, you know, obviously he got hurt, so there was no choice, but that if they had stuck with DTR, that he would continue to get better. I still believe that at this point in their careers, DTR's potential upside is higher than Flacco. It's hard to, to make that argument right now, but I believe that. Uh, I don't know if we'll see. I don't like the idea of committing to Flacco for the rest of the year. But in the end, for this week, with DTR still coming off injury, I think he gives you the best chance to win. I think we all agree with that. Awesome. For right G. now, Bush, for one week. You're up next. Yes, sir. The statement I gave G. Bush, Denzel Ward returning to the Browns lineup will fix all of their defensive issues. Do you think, do you know, or do you doubt that, G? Eh, as much as I like Denzel Ward, and I think he's going to help with the pass game and overall defense, I doubt that he's going to come back and fix everything with the defense. When you go back and watch the film, you watch all 22, you know, it's not the corners that are, you know, missing tackles, not the corners who aren't changing the line of scrimmage. Uh, those guys are out there worried about defending guys. The guys that are going to help the overall defense and stop the run are up front. Jim Schwartz's defense is predicated on pass rush, is predicated on getting uh, getting home with four, not blitzing, and then having strong coverage and man-to-man -man coverage and sticky coverage in the secondary. So w to stop the run, it takes the four guys up front. It takes them to be penetrating. It takes them being in a, in a backfield. And go back and watch the games where they were dominant, the games against the 49ers, the game against the Bengals. They're dominant because those guys up front get penetration, the ball has to bounce, and they get after you on third down. That is what's going to make the de overall defense better, not Denzel Ward. Agree. I'm with you, 100%. Fixes some, not all. Yep. Awesome. Jason, you're up next in the statement I gave you. Travis Etienne is the Jaguars player who will give the Browns defense the most fits on Sunday. Do you think that? Do you know that? Or do you doubt it? I have to doubt that, and Bull and I are in agreement on that. I, it, Travis Etienne's a fine running back. I don't think he's their most dangerous weapon. I personally think Trevor Lawrence is going to play on Sunday. I think I'm in the minority on that in terms of this panel, but I do think he's going to play. And Calvin Ridley is your top playmaking option. And the Browns have been gashed in the pass game the last couple of weeks. Having Denzel Ward back is certainly going to help that. But that combination, if Tre it tr it's not his arm that's hurt. It's not Trevor's arm that's hurt. So if he can play and, they can, and the Jaguars can keep him upright in the pocket, Calvin Ridley, to me, is the number one playmaker that the Browns have to be aware of. ATN can help them. He's a weapon that in, in the run game. But Ridley, to me, is their most impressive weapon. Yeah. I, I, I disagree. I, I, I know that Ridley's going to be the guy that we have to stop on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I agree. Could, could be dead wrong. Okay, Mikey, what's Jay, mine? you're up, and you had a two-parter. And let's see if this works. Yeah. I gave Jay a two-parter. He gave us two answers. Jay, David and Njoku will have at least 45 receiving yards and one touchdown against the mediocre Jaguars defense. Yeah, so if you wanted me to look at that in total, I, I would put I doubt for that statement in total because both would have to be true. Here's the way I took it. Two different statements, two different answers. I know David Njoku will have at least 45 receiving yards. That much I'm, I'm convinced of. If he doesn't, this is an L because uh, we still don't know if Amari Cooper is going to be able to go. But they've got to use David Njoku more in their offensive game plan. So I know he's going to have the 45 yards. As for the touchdown, well, I mean, we kind of have a little bit of experience and a body of work to go off of. And he hasn't scored a lot of touchdowns this year. So because of that, I doubt that he's going to score a touchdown. He's going to need to, but the, the history and, and his track record this year tells me I doubt it. That Am worked out perfectly. Uh, yeah, I think uh, anytime you talk about the Browns and touchdowns, it's hard to project. Yeah, there's that no way I could guarantee because uh, they have. I feel like enough. I would. I don't like any of the answers for that. Yeah. I don't. I think it's somewhere between. I think and I doubt. That's what makes. I it like Njoku's odds against the touchdown better with Flacco throwing to him than some of the other guys. That's, that's, that's a fact too. That's true. Uh, that's definitely true. Agree with that. All right, Mike. 
If you're looking for a job with career advancement and great benefits, PCC Airfoils is a leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio. All locations of PCC Airfoils in East Lake, Menor, Wycliffe, and Minerva are hiring for all positions starting at $18 and up, plus full benefit packages, paid time off, and a signing bonus. You can apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn more. All right, next on